Our job as scientists in the world is to take credible science and transition it into practical technology. Uh, I was always interested in science and technology. Don't like to admit it, but my mother thought I was kind of a geek when I was younger, uh, playing with the tinker toys and taking things apart. Entry scan is a non-contact detection device. Everybody wants to know, oh, the puffer machine, oh yeah, what does the heck that thing do? The basic concept for this system is for screening people as they come through a control checkpoint. If you could imagine going into a phone booth without closing the door behind you and hearing a voice boom from overhead say, air, air puffers, puffers on. on. Wait for green light. The whole purpose of the puffing with air is not to scare you, it's to do nothing more than shake your clothing. In that process, what happens is particulate materials, invisible tiny amounts of particles, will be liberated from the rattling of your clothes into this airflow. The particles are then carried up by the human convection plume, which your body gives off a natural heat, about 50 liters per second of air comes off the top of your body. And then by a quiet period of another four or five seconds, in which case an analysis on that sample is collected and done. Really what it's doing is just collecting particles ionizing them, then measuring their time of flight. Trace detection is very, very sensitive detection and identification of substances in the world that are not detectable by any other means. It's all cutting edge technology. I couldn't imagine working on anything else. A lot of times, engineers, you develop pieces of a product. Here, we develop a product from start to finish. The team is excellent. We have uh, lots of sharp folks here. They are dynamic. They really enjoy what they do. There are many, many wide-ranging applications where trace detection technology just like this can be used. Even all the way over to healthcare, people use canines, dogs, for sniffing out certain diseases among humans. This technology would be outstanding for that application. That is an area which I have always felt has great promise in the future. It really does feel empowering to know that what you're doing is making the world safer. Looking back on your career as a, as a, as a person who's been a career scientist, say the things that you've done that have been good for you, for your business, and for the world, this is a home run.